Aloha everybody, Gabe here from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance, His Survival. Welcome back, mahalo for watching. In today's video, I'm going to show you all durian. Wow, this is just a weird fruit. Look at it. Spiky, I mean that, that hurts. Oh, wow. And this is starting to get ripe. It's ready to eat and I will eat it for you. Doesn't smell too good, to tell you the truth. I've had durian in Thailand and a couple other Asian countries and of course Hawaii and I've actually had durian in Southern California uh, <laughs> I know you're like what yeah um, you can get durian like this in big boxes in some of the Asian markets in Southern California and of course you can get you know durian flavored chips or durian flavored whatever right um, durian is a very popular fruit in Southeast Asia and that's I believe it comes from Malaysia and it's just an interesting crazy fruit it grows all over Southeast Asia Thailand Indonesia Philippines places like that it's just a odd fruit so don't go away stay tuned and check out this amazing world we live in I mean look at this fruit isn't that just weird it's an alien fruit here we have D132 durian. These are about two months out and maybe a month. Maybe a month, two months, something like that. But they're all over the tree. Yeah, it's loaded. Yeah. And this tree is less than 10 years old too. Yeah, it doesn't even look that old. And this just had cow manure and more cow manure. And cow manure some fish waste some of the pond skimmings you can see yep the pond see, plants yeah these are <laughs> they don't die down here very fast no <laughs> but it's a slow decline for them and the, and the durian tree loves this type of culture here's some durian flowers more durian this is the durian flower these are going to be Durians, and this is Cobb Durian, and this carpal is swollen up and is going to have some flesh in it. This carpal doesn't have anything in it, and this one has one carpal, looks pretty good, and this one might have two uh, sections with meat in it, and you can see there's plenty of durian here and durian is very valuable less than 10 years old. and Damn, it's this is, this is less than 10 years old this tree right and this is a second crop this is the second, second crop produ production second season it's pretty big right, what do you say that's 25 yeah. feet something like that Tw yeah. 20 feet yeah well I topped it to keep it from getting too tall yeah, I could see you topped it right there and then all the leaders yeah. started. Uh -huh. Cool. Okay, that's a cob durian. Here we have a durian on the ground. Most of them, you let the durian fall to the ground and uh, you let it sit for a couple days until it ripens up. Some people like them kind of rotten. Some people like them a little bit more um, on the unripe side. It just depends on your palate. So I'm gonna pick this one up. Oh, it's a beauty. Wow, that's a beauty. Came from this tree. There's another one right here I found. Ow, oh my goodness, it's spiky, very spiky. Yes. Spiky, and this little one is just immature. It's a, a thinning. Yeah. And then this tree is so loaded it drops. Look at that. Okay, so we got a nice little pile going. Here's some durian seedlings. What variety is this? Oh, this is from the seedlings across the road. So we don't know what shirt, what kind of uh, durian no, this is. We're not quite sure, but. It 
Seems to be healthy. <laughs> yeah, these are root stocks for grafting on some of these more valuable. I got a JX5 Vengeful 1 from Chris at Prepared Mind 101 in the mail today. So what better way to test it out? And I told Chris that I would be doing some interesting stuff. And this is definitely interesting. I'm pretty sure uh, this is a first, I would say. And I'm going to do many firsts with this knife. This is just one of them. So I'm going to cut down the carpal right here. And it's really tough, as you can see. And I don't want to like chop it because I could damage it. I just want to do that. Ow. See, these things are spiky. You gotta be careful. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. There we go. So I'm in between the sections. And this is what you've got to do. Oh, wow. I'm bleeding. See how how sharp these spikes are? You gotta be real careful. It's not the knife. It's not the knife. It was the spikes. Wow. Uh, yeah. Ow. Okay, so spiky fruit. I'm gonna put this one over here. And... Wow, well, it got me pretty good. Wow. Well, um, they're sharper than I thought, these spikes. Okay, so I'm going to do this. And go like that. Cut this out. Like that. Okay. Now, this is the kind of disgusting part now because I'm going to eat it. <laughs> okay, for you guys, this is what I do for my fans. <laughs> this is the, the husk. I can just throw this away. There's nothing in here, right? This is the part where there's good stuff. So I'm going to eat this. Mm. It's okay. I don't know why people are obsessed with it. It's interesting. It's kind of got a garlicky flavor. Mm. There's a big seed, as you can see. Yeah. Durian. You gotta be careful when you open it because it will cut you. These spikes are sharp. Ah, interesting. Garlicky flavor. Okay, that's durian. Interesting fruit. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. I know people say uh, either love it or hate it. I'm actually kind of in between. I mean, I'll eat it, but I'm not going to go out of my way to find it. If someone else isn't, uh, hasn't had any experience with it, I'll definitely encourage them uh, to, to eat it, and I'll try to get my favorite or the best, in my opinion. Um, and, and expose this person to durian because I think everyone should try these different exotic fruits. It's just interesting. And you never know, uh, you know, what you might like, what you might not like. But yes, in in certain countries, you can't transport durian on the public transport, right? Like if I was to take some durian uh, on a bus in Thailand, they'd be like, "Ah, uh -uh, get out of here, boy. Whew, that's stinky, stinky boy. Get out of here, <laughs> right? You know, um, but." Uh, it's it's like smoking, right? It's kind of like smoking. People uh, are offended by the smell. Now, I hope you guys like this video. I will provide much information in the description box and related videos in the description box. And I hope you comment. I'll try to answer any questions. I'm not an expert on durian. Uh, I've you know had durian you know probably for the past 10, 15 years. I've been exposed to durian. Uh, I've been infected. By the durian. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not a, I'm not a, a fiend for durian. I know some people are. They're like a fiend. It's like a aphrodisiac, right? For these uh, certain people, they get addicted to it. Um, so I hope you subscribe. I'll make plenty of cool videos coming up, and hit that bell symbol to get notifications for when I upload a video. And I hope to see you on the flip side. Until next time. Hello. Ha!